what's up guys had to do a roof cleaning and a house wash today try to do try to do two a day if we you know if we're to line them up in the same in the same route but we've done four a day many times but we're just gonna try to do two today uh knock those out so we're headed this morning to meet up at home depot and roll out so we'll tell you about a rookie rookie mistake we almost made yesterday rookie mistake rookie mistake so there's this subdivision in uh another town that we service it's about 40 minutes away from my house and we do we're kind of centrally located between a, a bunch of bigger towns um my little town it's a it's podunk and you can't charge a lot there i'll do stuff there but i don't make a lot of money there because there's no industry so people aren't usually don't have a lot of money to spend so that's not who we're really catering to we're really catering to all these other bigger towns uh, auburn auburn alabama opelika lagrange noonan uh, the south atlanta area is kind of here uh aniston oxford Carrollton, georgia uh we've got a couple of lakes over here on this side and it's all in a, a radius so it's good for us but it's bad for us because i do a lot of driving but <clears throat> yeah it's okay so we go to i get a call last week from a, a customer that i did the roof on their house uh, about three years ago he's like hey hey uh this is so and so you did my roof a few years ago i'm over in such and such subdivision oh yeah yeah we actually do the entryway to that subdivision every year yeah 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 okay and it's mostly older folks that live there really nice sub uh, golf course community subdivision and he's like so i wanted you guys to come back and do my uh, my driveway it's like okay yeah that's fine we do we can handle that um so i scheduled him up and I said, uh, now tell me again your house. Remind me, because we did about a dozen houses in that that little subdivision. And he was like, you know, it has the circular drive, the horseshoe shaped drive. It's got a part that goes up to the side where there's three car garage. And you did my roof, and it's. Uh, I was like, oh yeah, I, I remember. I so said, I did y'all's roof. Um, I remember the, the driveway layout because I remember standing in the horseshoe and doing my before and after video. Um, I was like, you guys are right beside one of the golf cart crossings that goes over the road. Yeah, that's right, that's right. I said, okay, I got you, man. I know exactly which house it is. Okay. I said, all right, so we'll be out there, schedule them up. We go out yesterday, and the house I have in my mind, we pull up to it, and I'm like, yep, this, you know, here it is. So we get out, and we start um, rolling everything off. I send him a text, and go up to the door, ring the doorbell. Nobody answers, no big deal. So I roll the hose off and I start pre-treating the concrete. And about five minutes into this, the lady comes outside and she's like, what's going on? Oh, we're, we're here to do y'all's driveway. And uh, she's like, we're not getting the driveway done. It's like, um, so I talked to Mr. Beal the other day and he wanted us to do the driveway. And she said, no, my husband's Gary. She said, you did our roof, right? I said, I said oh, okay, hold on a minute. I was like, um, yep, I did y'all's roof. Um, I said, I got a call from so-and-so, and she's like, oh, he's on the other street over there. It, guys, it turned out, and it's like so freaking weird. I did, like I said, about a dozen jobs in this subdivision. The only two houses <laughs> that have horseshoe driveway, side that goes up, three-car garage, they're the exact same layout. The houses don't look the same, but the driveway is the, the freaking exact same thing. Um, the guys, the dudes, the older guys, both look the same. They're about the same age. They sound the same on the phone. They're both right beside a golf cart crossing. And uh, she was like, well, I, how much you charge us to do it? I mean, it needs to be done, but that wasn't us that called you. I was like, I'm so sorry. I said, well, your roof still looks good. Yeah, your roof looks great. So we, we talked to them for a minute. I said, I, I just, I had in my mind that it was this house. And uh, I said, you know, I know which house it is. It's the other one uh, over there. And she's like, yeah, that's, that's their house. So we drive over to their house, pull up, and then sure as a world, I'm like, God almighty, this is just weird. It is the the only two houses in, and what are the odds? There's probably 200 houses in this subdivision. What are the odds that it's two of them that I've done the roofs on the same summer, and they have the same layout, and they're one street apart, and the dudes, you know, it's just like identical. It's so weird. But we could have made, we could have wasted a day. 
and they got a free driveway cleaning so thank god you know we didn't do that but guys that's just something to get ahead of um don't assume especially when you start doing a lot of volume and you've done a lot of houses in these subdivisions you get a call back for something extra a couple years later don't assume you're going to the right house get the address confirm make sure that it's the right place that you're going back to because that can happen i mean it's weird and it ain't likely but it can happen and that would just a uh a, a rookie mistake an almost mistake so luckily we didn't really waste any time there but we could have so anyway just always make sure you double check double check double check so even if you're you're pretty sure it's best to go off of the the actual address and not assume you know what happens when you assume so anyway just thought i'd throw that out there and let you guys maybe you get a kick out of that uh i felt pretty stupid for a minute it's like god that's retarded and i didn't have my book with me i didn't have my book because yesterday was monday and um what i usually do on sunday nights when we get home from church is i'll sit there and i'll pull my little sheet out and i'll rewrite out my book so it doesn't look so messy with the, the jobs that are left over for the following week and so i had done that but i left my book on the, the little side table there in the living room and didn't grab it monday morning and uh, i got out of the house I, was like, I don't need it. i know where we're going today anyway so i actually i did not know where we were going so anyway i'll let you guys roll uh pick up mr wilkins and we'll head out and do these these couple of jobs today it's not gonna be too bad okay it's gonna be far like it's a day today all right we'll holler at you